coverage you can count on continues tonight with the latest on the husband accused of shooting his wife during an argument. Robert White remains in the Aiken County Jail charged with possession of marijuana. Investigators say he shot his wife in the leg during an argument Wednesday night at their home in Martinez. A spokesperson for the Columbia County Sheriff's Office says it could be a couple of weeks before White is brought back to Columbia County to face those charges. No update on the victim's condition. According to the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence, one in four women and one in nine men will experience intimate partner violence in their lifetimes. News Channel 6's Mary Calkin spoke with a mother on a mission to put a stop to it. Richmond County deputies say 20-year-old Brindley Kitchens was murdered by her ex-boyfriend. Her mother sat down with me and shared the importance of domestic violence education, and even though it may be difficult, speaking out. She just um, was a ray of light and anywhere she went. She would light up a room. She would even leave and the room would go darker. Brindley is remembered fondly by friends and family, from her spirit to her fiery red hair. Lauren Kitchen says she carries a book of pictures of Brindley everywhere she goes. It is the best gift ever given to me besides Brindley. But her mother says it's also important to remember her as a domestic violence murder victim. She is in the process of creating Brindley Lives, a nonprofit to educate people on domestic violence. She says the first step is recognizing the signs of domestic abuse. If anything intimidates you or scares you or it's something that is, um, belittles you or makes you feel very uncomfortable, that, that's the first sign, and that's the sign that you need to probably step away e extremely quickly. According to the Mayo Clinic, domestic abuse generally begins in this form before escalating to physical violence. I think that it's going to start small, of course, yes, and then it's going to escalate. And then once you get to that escalation, you're, you're sometimes pretty far deep into the relationship. And she also advocates for the importance of speaking out if you are a victim. She says open communication is key. I, I thought as a mother that I would see something or know something. or But the problem is, is it takes our kids talking and telling us things. But she says it is possible to get out. It starts with telling someone, and then it takes a village. Someone has to know. So the friends need to step up, whether or not they're afraid of what she's going to say, he's going to say. Either way, if you if you don't say something, you could end up without a friend completely. In this story on our website, you can find resources for anyone trying to escape a domestic violence situation. In Augusta, Mary Calkins, WJBS News Channel 6. The man accused of killing Brindley Kitchens remains in jail tonight. Jaden Ross was denied bond by a superior court judge last month. He's charged with murder in that case. Augusta's Pride Fest is...